Hey guys, welcome back to the Music Mindset Channel. Uh, today I'm going to go a little off script um, and I'm going to do a reaction on something that uh, caught my attention over the last couple of days. I wasn't aware uh, that our friend Bob Barker had passed away. You know Bob Barker from The Price is Right. And this kind of hit me hard. I mean, this past Saturday, I know some of you may have already found out, but uh, Bob Barker, man, he was a long time fixture in American television. Um, and so I'm going to give you a little bit of how I feel. I mean, I remember this guy back in the day, man, uh, where I live, 11 o'clock in the afternoon is when you were sitting at the television watching the Price is White show and going into the afternoon news um, until you got a job. Um, <laughs> um, one of the things about him is that, you know, he had been married. I didn't know he was married for 36 years. You know, you see him on TV, you don't really think much about his private life, but he was married 36 years to a woman by the name of Dorothy Jo Gideon. Um, the thing is, out of all those years that he was married to her, they never had any kids. And I'll talk a little bit more about the woman that he was involved in, in uh, over the last couple of years. He had a girlfriend for a number of years. Her name is Nancy Burnett, so we don't want to leave her out of the picture. Uh, but they, out of both relationships, long-term relationship, he had no kids out of either one of them. Uh, it breaks my heart to see this guy go. But to keep it real for a moment, um, I kind of thought he had already passed away. I thought I had heard a story about that. Uh, so it's like a double whammy. Uh, I thought he had already left us, and then you find out that he left us. So it was like a double whammy for me to know that uh, somebody I grew up watching and had the utmost respect for, at least television-wise, he's a fixture in my heart, in my life. When I think of uh, television in America, television in America wasn't television unless you had uh, uh, Bob Barker in the picture, you know what I mean? And his pageants and stuff like that. So instead of me rambling on about that, I'm going to let Mr. V-Man check in and tell us a little bit about Bob Barker and I'll come back and give you some more of my thoughts. Go ahead, V-Man. Yeah, you're right, Mr. Mindset. It's definitely an unfortunate loss for the world. This man was an incredible person and his legacy reveals it. Ladies and gentlemen, on Saturday, August 26, 2023, the curtains fell on a life chapter of a man who has enriched the world of entertainment for decades. We find ourselves looking back at the life of a man who became a household name. Mr. Bob Barker. From the early days of his career to his unforgettable moments on The Price is Right, his impact is simply immeasurable. And we all know the theme song when we hear it. Born on December 12th, 1923 in Darrington, Washington to Matilda and Byron Barker, young Bob's life took a twist when he lost his father in a tragic accident and eventually moved to Springfield, Missouri with his mother. Little did the world know that this young boy would grow up to be a luminary in the world of television. Barker's journey truly began when he met the love of his life, Dorothy Jo Gideon, during his high school years. Their love story was etched in time, from their first date at an Ella Fitzgerald concert to their inseparable bond that lasted until Dorothy's passing in 1981. Bob's pursuit of education led him to Drury College and then to the Navy, where he served as a fighter pilot during World War II. Upon returning, he graduated with honors and soon ventured into radio. The silver screen got a taste of Bob Barker's charisma when he made a memorable appearance in the 1996 film Happy Gilmore alongside Adam Sandler. But it was his role as the charismatic host of The Price is Right that truly catapulted him to stardom. The revival of the show in 1972 marked the beginning of a 35-year journey during which Barker became synonymous with the show's excitement and generosity. Emmy Awards adorned his shelves, with a total of 19 to his name, including those he received as the host and executive producer of The Price is Right. In 2004, he was enshrined in the Television Academy Hall of Fame, a testament to his incredible influence on the world of television. But there was so much more to Bob Barker than just his infectious enthusiasm on screen. 
He was a passionate animal rights activist, advocating for the well-being of animals in every possible way. His stance was unwavering, from testifying before Congress against the use of elephants in traveling shows to his memorable refusal to host a Miss USA pageant over contestants wearing real furs. And let's not forget the impact he made in the world of education. Barker's contributions extended beyond the entertainment realm, as he generously supported law schools across prestigious universities, all for the study and support of animal rights law. His commitment to animal welfare led to the creation of the DJ and T Foundation, a tribute to his late wife, which aimed to control animal overpopulation. As we remember the life of Bob Barker, it's impossible not to feel the loss of a true luminary. His spirit, his passion, and his dedication will forever remain etched in the annals of history. Bob Barker's legacy goes beyond the confines of a television screen. It's a legacy of kindness, advocacy, and the pursuit of making the world a better place. So, as we bid farewell to this remarkable soul, let's celebrate the incredible journey of Bob Barker, a man who made us smile, laugh, and reflect. Rest in peace, Bob. Your legacy lives on in the hearts of all who were fortunate enough to witness your greatness. The you have it Mr. Mindset. Bob's incredible charisma will surely be a hard act to follow. Yeah, man, that's a real hard act to follow. I don't know who can replace him. Uh, we have Drew Carey, I think it was, who took over the prices, right, and stuff like that. Um, and he's from the last time I watched the show, it's been a couple of years since I've seen the show. He does a great job, but it's nothing like 70s television, man. It's nothing like 70s television when things were raw and new, where we were a little bit more naive. We were smart, but we were naive about the rigors and the craziness in the world. Today, everything is so uh, telegraphed and choreographed. Back in those days, man, it was just true. It was it was pure television, you know what I mean? And Bob Barker, when I think of pure television, I think of Bob Barker, guys like that, game show hosts that uh, paid a, played a big part of our lives. If you were born in the 60s, 50s, 60s, 70s, or 80s, you got to know who Bob Barker is, and he has to play a part in your life. Uh, I think he retired, at the, I believe it was 2000. And six or seven or something like that right around that time uh and you know he was out of sight from that point forward for the most part but it really breaks my heart that we lost this guy it's just another part of american culture uh that is slipping slipping through our fingers the older we get the younger kids um i'm just keeping it real they probably don't even really care as much uh, about television because everybody's glued to the telephone and glued to the computers and they have that on-demand stuff so they watch what they want uh we were watching television on what they served us we didn't get to pick and choose what came on tv or we didn't get to pick our own program and we sat there at that television set and we know what was coming on at what time now uh you can watch whatever you want at any time uh on demand so I'm going to wrap it up by just saying that I know Bob Barker was a great man. Uh, V-Man just explained to you uh, some of the great things that he did. And the world is going to miss this guy. You know what I mean? I mean, pure American talent. That's Bob Barker. So the channel is now, uh, you know, we've met our goals we got a thousand subscribers and we got uh over four thousand going on five thousand hours so we're looking pretty good uh i'll be back with some music uh pure music next time i i just had to get my reaction on the uh the news of bob barker passing away but we're going to keep on pushing forward uh, and doing what we do and you stick with the channel and you come back for the next video and we'll have a little fun with that i hope you appreciated this video I'll see you next time on the Music Mindset channel.